Hi, this is Mr. Cully, and welcome to these tutorials about how to create a maze, guide the ball through the maze game with some levels. We're going to make our levels by using broadcasts, and our game is going to work like this. This is going to be my introduction screen. When I click, in fact, let's go big screen so I can show you. When I click my play button, we get a click quick introduction screen there, just tell me where to put my mouse, I can guide the ball by moving the mouse around the levels, if I touch the green I go back to the start, um, no lives or anything yet but I'm guiding the ball through there, when it touches the portal again, there we go, level 2 is a bit harder I'm um, just guiding it through and when it touches the portal that's the end of the game at the moment, um, so that's what we're going to make so what I'm going to do is load up my game before I've started writing any scripts let me just save that one first that one's my after coding game and what I want is my before coding game okay here we go um, what I've created here before I've started any coding or all the sprites and all the backgrounds that I need I think I've created all the backgrounds I might not have created the intro screens for each level yet um, so I've got a play button a ball for level 1, a ball for level 2 and a portal for level 1 and a portal for level 2 it's important that you get separate sprites for each level as you're doing this um, I've also on my stage created yeah I've created level 1 and level 2 um, and I've created an intro screen which I'm going to call intro screen there we go I'm just gonna pause this and pop off and, and just make my introduction for level 1 introduction for level 2 screens and, I'll, and then I'll start this again okay there we go um, I've just made those two screens and I've called them level 1 intro and level 2 intro I haven't done any coding yet at all any scripts um, I'm just purely getting myself set up because you have to have it really straight in your head what you want to happen so the first thing I'm going to do is set up each of these sprites and the backgrounds to be to display or not to show or hide and go to where I want them to go at the very start of the game I'll start with the stage go to scripts the very start of the game that's when the player cl clicks the green flag so when the green flag is clicked, I want my stage, excuse me, whilst I just exit my email application, there we go, I want my stage to switch to background intro screen. That's what I want to display first. Okay, next sprite, my level 1 ball. Well, I don't want that to display until level 1 starts, so when the green flag is clicked, I want it to hide and that's the same for level 2 ball, level 1 portal and level 2 portal so I'm going, just going to duplicate that by dragging and dropping over here the thing that I want to show when the green flag is clicked is my play button and I want it to show, hang on let's just go back to the stage put the right background on so I can tell where I want it to go there we go, I want my play button to go there and the reason I'm putting it there before I do write my script is, well, I'll show you now. When the green flag is clicked for the play button, I want it to go to, and if I've put it where I want it already, it'll pick up the coordinates, so I want it to go to there. So I don't have to change those now. Um, and then um, I want it to go to there, and I want it to show up if you're thinking well it's showing already it's going to hide later in the game I want to make sure it comes back when I click, click the green flag so I have to put that show command in so once you've got yourself set up with some backgrounds and all your sprites move on to the next video and we'll start writing a script to let the play button so for when the play button is clicked um, to switch the background and start showing some more sprites